ladies and gentlemen, I am Katie Stone and this is Stone Second Sense. Now, U.S. pistol race ruled likely illegal, federal appeal court rules. Now, this is something we've been waiting a long time for and we love to hear that these crazy rules that the ATF is pushing on us are well unconstitutional and illegal. We love to hear it. Let's dive in a little deeper. August 1st, a U.S. regulation restricting ownership of gun accessories known as pistol braces is likely illegal. A federal appeals court ruled Tuesday, a victory for the gun rights group challenging the rule. Now we love to hear it, don't we? I mean, this is a huge win for the Second Amendment and a huge win for the U.S. citizens. Now, a two to one panel of the New Orleans based Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals found that the U.S. ATF finalized the rule in January without giving the public a meaningful chance to comment on it and made it invalid under the Federal Administrative Procedures Act, the panel found. That's not surprising anyone. At least it's not surprising me, <laughs> but let's keep going. The court did not immediately block the enforcement of the rule, instead sending the case back to the U.S. District Judge Reed O'Connor for in Fort Worth, Texas. O'Connor will have to decide whether to issue an order blocking enforcement while the case goes forward, and if so, whether that order will apply nationwide or only to the plaintiffs of the case. Now, let me read that again because that's very important. The court did not immediately block enforcement of the rule, instead sending the case back to the U.S. District Judge Reed O'Connor in Fort Worth, Texas. And this is the important part. O'Connor will have to decide whether to issue an order blocking enforcement while the case case goes forward, and if so, whether that order will apply nationwide or only to the plaintiffs of the case. So that is the key point here that I want everyone to pay attention to because we don't know exactly what all could be going on. We need to know exactly what the rules are for us and what applies. So we need to be paying attention to that. Several federal judges have already issued preliminary orders blocking enforcement of the rule enacted by President Joe Biden's administration and challenged by lawsuit of gun rights groups. Now, we already know we've heard some about those. Um, I think GOA has one and FPC and a few others. So just pay attention to those because these orders only apply to the members of the groups and only in those judges' jurisdictions. So that's really important to make sure you're paying attention to that. But what I found is really funny is this. Take a look. The lawsuit was brought by the Firearms Policy Coalition. Joe Wisinski, the group's lawyer, called the ruling a huge win for the peaceable gun owners across the nation. Now, this is what's funny. ATF and the U.S. Department of Justice declined to comment. Does that surprise anyone? <laughs> There's also one more thing I wanted to share with you guys. This one actually made me feel really good. Listen to this. District Judge Don Willett said in a... <laughs> in a concurring opinion, that the rule likely violated not only the Administrative Procedure Act, but also the right to bear arms under the Second Amendment of the Constitution. An issue that the majority did not address. Now, this right here is huge. Ladies and gentlemen, we're having a circuit judge that is admitting the fact that this not only violates one thing, but also the Second Amendment that's in the Constitution, which we all kind of knew. So ladies and gentlemen, what do you see this as? Do you see this as a win? Cause you should, <laughs> but make sure you're paying attention because there's always gonna be more information coming out on stuff like this. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you're subscribed over with Braden over at Langley Outdoors Academy and him and Tim's channel over at Second Legacy. There's always information that some of us may not be able to cover. Each one of us may not be able to cover it. One of the three channels is doing their best to cover as much as possible. Also, let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments. Make sure you're hitting that like and subscribe button and have a great day.